going everybody this is the Kanish and today I want to talk about Summoner's War optimizer tool made by Zandro the Summoner's War exporter and how to move or how to get your JSON file and how to move it into the Summoner's War optimizer tool while using Android um, I've been back in the game for about five months now started a new baby account um, rebuilt it back up and now I'm at the point where I'm like I need to be able to start being more competitive and how do we do that we use the summoners war optimized tool the problem is when I went back and I looked through reddit and I was pulling up some information trying to get the process I just remember how tough and what a pain it really was to really get this tool to work in the first place you know you really have to kind of know what you're doing a little bit it used to be a lot easier but reading reddit and kind of checking out some of the threads it doesn't seem to be that easy so I'm gonna do it HTML a lot of different hoops you have to jump through and when I first started I have to admit it was really aggravating really really aggravating how do you get from just collecting this certificate and moving it into an emulator and processing it and then being able to pull a JSON file where to find everything I was going through the different threads and it just none of it really made sense right so nothing was really clear it was like why can't you just show me what's going on here they're like oh well you can use Knox you can use blue stacks but no you can't use blue stacks oh Knox might not work oh but there's Moo Moo and there's Mimu and there's this and there's that and honestly I did it the first time finally I got it to work with Moo Moo um, you can definitely try with that one um, when I tried to recreate for this video Moomoo started crashing and freezing on me really really bad now I don't need to play on an emulator so that wasn't really an issue for me I just need an emulator that was stable and I could pull this file off of I didn't care if the game actually ended up working because all you really need to do at the end of the day is log into Summoner's War and that will allow you to get the files that you need so I'm actually on my account right now so I need to turn that off because it will log me off when I try to log in with the emulator um, but I want to go through this process with you first so obviously the end result here is getting the Summoner's War exporter getting the Summoner's War optimizer I'm going to show you how real quick really bring you through it this week use a video I'm a visual learner I know a lot of you are visual learners so it's really good to just kind of pull this together see how it works start to finish and hopefully this can help you out and get yourself into the optimizer and help build your, your account a little bit stronger um, RTA season is going to be ending soon so how do you get competitive for the next season or how to prep yourself for the next season and just you know really make yourself a much better account overall experience so first we want to make sure that we're going to the right websites so again the first thing that I did was I found a reliable emulator went online searched a bunch of them like I said I tried Knox doesn't work try Bluestacks doesn't work uh, did Moomoo got my initial um, program set up through Moomoo when I tried to recreate it again things started freezing wasn't working I was resetting it I was starting to get a little aggravated again so deleted that program went online tried to find some other ones came across LD player um, it's really clean really simple to use um, the nice thing is the tools I'm going to show you it doesn't matter what the emulator is you just have to look and find specific things within that emulator um, and they're all the same so you just have to find it within the emulator and then just plug and play whatever one you use same same process over and over again so first you want to download the emulator while it's downloading I, I suggest going over to Zandro's website patreon.com forward slash Zandro um, this is the home this is the birthplace of the tools um, I always say get it from the original location you can go to reddit you can um, get some links off there to download tool I always want to give Zandro a little love me and him go back a while we haven't talked in a while but he's a good dude always in my line chat always answer people's questions when they when he first started developing this program and it really was a game changer right from the get-go so if you do appreciate his work there are some membership levels you can download a pro uh, version it does move a little bit quicker um, a little more features um, I definitely suggest it if you can um, in the future if you do want to use this repeatedly but if you just scroll down a little bit you do have the Summoner's War optimizer and you have the Summoner's War exporter tools right here click on them download them very simple to use you want to make sure that you open up the Swex tool right here on the left hand side this is where you're going to get your certificate for your CA PEM this is going to be pretty much your starting point for getting your emulator to be able to pull your JSON file all right 
So the first thing you want to do is just make sure your proxy is off. It can mess with your emulator when you're starting it up. Always start your emulator, load it up, and then start your proxy. Um, for now, all you have to do is just click on this Get Certificate icon, and that's just going to create a copy of it. Before you move to copy the certificate, just click on the settings here and just make sure your HTTPS option is turned on. You will need that later on, so it's just good to click on it now and not worry about it. So again, you have to find your log. Go, you'll now go into your computer, find where it's saved for me. It's saved in a Summoner's War exporter file. And as you can see, this is where my JSON file ends up being as well. So I'm going to click on the folder. I'm going to right click on the CAPEM. I'm going to copy that. All right. And now pretty much I'm done for now. The next step here is once you have your emulator downloaded, you're going to open it up. Cool thing about this is there's a lot of really cool tools and features that you could jump on here. Word of uh, warning though for LD player. It doesn't actually play Summoner's War unless uh, you might need the, the VT turned on. I'm not trying to mess with that. I don't need to use that. I have Samsung. If I want to play on my computer, I just pop it into USB-C and I use Samsung DeX right on my screen. So for me, an emulator to play is not necessary. That's why I don't mind LD Player with some of his shortcomings, um, like being able to actually play the game, right? Uh, so we just want to make sure that it does what we need it to do. So the first thing first here is you're going to find your shared folder, which for LD player is this icon right here, your shared folder. You can also hit control five. That'll open up here. It'll say PC shared folder, Android shared folder. Just click on the PC shared folder. This is going to open up a folder in your computer that houses the actual app. Um, you could choose anywhere in the computer, uh, sorry, in the folder to save this. Just remember where it is because you will have to find it later on. So what you want to do here is you just want to, I saved it to the pictures folder doesn't really matter. You're going to right click, you're going to paste that into the, your file, and it's going to house it there. You have now copied your CAPEM file into your LD player or any other emulator you are now using, and you can close that screen. Boom, done. Now, while you're waiting to go to the next part, or while you're doing the next part, what you want to do is you want to go into the Play Store for your whatever emulator you're using. You're going to click on this. You can click on the toolbar here. It'll open up Play Store. You'll have to log in with your uh, Google Play Store that you currently use, unless you have a separate persona. Um, log in. I would um, suggest opening up uh, the Play Store updater first. Just like whenever you buy a new phone, you have to update the Play Store, uh, the uh, Play Game Channel, so it can... <coughs> Excuse me. Sorry about that. So... You just have to update the Play Store so it can um, pull up the personas. It makes downloading easier. Sometimes it asks you to do it. Um, sometimes it doesn't. I suggest it takes about 10 seconds. Just do it anyway. Once you update that, go back to your search. Search for Summoner's War just like you normally would in Google Play. I'm not going to go into all that. But you're going to download the app like you would on your phone. Very easy. Very simple to use. While that's downloading, you're going to go into your system apps. You can go into your settings, and this is where it sometimes gets a little tricky and people get a little lost. Very simple. First thing you're going to do here is you're going to go down, you're going to go down, you're going to hit security. doesn't matter, again, what app you're using. Go to security. Every app, every emulator works exactly the same. So you're going to go down to your emulator, security. All right. Scroll down a little bit. You're going to see something that says install from SD card because you now need to uh, install the certificate that you put into the app to actually be able to use it. So you're gonna click on here, and now you're gonna look for that file. Obviously, mine is saved here already, so I don't have to look for it, but just remember what folder they actually put the file in. And what you're gonna do is, it's gonna pop up here, and you're gonna click on it, and it's gonna ask you to name the certificate. Guess what? You can name it whatever you want, and in fact, I'm gonna name it whatever. So just name it whatever, save it, you're good to go on that. You now uh, submit the certificate, you're going to hit OK. It's going to ask you to create a PIN for security. Um, when you restart your emulator later in the future, you'll need that security code to actually log into your emulator. Um, just remember what you did. I made a four-digit PIN. Just like setting um, a login for your um, phone when you first get it. Same thing. You could set a, um, you know, a line, one of those mazes for your security, a pattern. You can do a PIN. You can do whatever you want that shows you up there for your options, all right? So just choose your security option, make a passcode, and you're good to go. Just hit OK, and, you, and you're done, all right? So I already have that done, so I don't need to put that in there, all right? The next step is 
you go into security, scroll back up, go to your Wi-Fi. All right. This is where you need to actually use your Swex tool a little bit beforehand. Okay. So you still have the proxy turned off. You don't need that turned on yet. And what you're going to do here is you're going to you need you're going to need this digital code right here. This is for your Wi-Fi access point and your port. You're going to left click on whatever the internet says it is. It's created by the emulator. Don't really worry about what it says. Just left click on that, hold it down. You're going to see the forgotten network, modify network. Just click modify. It's going to bring up options for you to set. Uh, you're going to click on advanced options if it's not already there. It might bring you right to the screen already. It might ask you to modify the network. Click on that. Click uh, the proxy. Open this page up. And you're going to, in this bar right here, you're just going to type in that code that you see at the top of Swex. Okay. So that's an eight digit code here with all the dots. And then you're going to go here. And you, when you first see this port, it's going to look like it's already written in like that. That's grayed out. That's not actually written in. You want to make sure you just pop that 880 in there also. It is always 880, um, 8080, I should say. And then you just click save and you're good to go on there as well. You have now set up literally every single thing you need to pull your JSON file. So what you're going to do here is at this moment, you're going to go back to the main screen. You've downloaded let me go back here. So you've now downloaded Summoner's War. You've installed the certificate on your emulator. You've uh, set up the proxy settings for your internet um, on your emulator to mirror what it is on Summoner's War Explorer. This way it could read your file before you uh, actually go in. And now all you have to do is start the proxy here and open the app up. All right. So LD Player, like I said, not really, uh, well, at least how I have it set up. You might, if you play around with it, make it a little bit more um, usable. But it does take a little while to load the game. Um, it'll look like it freezes for a little bit. Just sit tight. Let it run. It takes about a minute or two for it to get going. Again, all you need to do is actually log into your game. I would suggest at this point, um, before you start your proxy, the first time you're logging in, if you haven't done it already, and the music is obviously... Forgot to turn the volume down on the emulator. Sorry about that. So make sure when you first log in, remember it's going to have to have that big download, um, the update. So you want to go into here first before you actually load your proxy up and take care of that, log back out, and then go in, start your proxy, and load in. Because it is a pain in the butt. You have to log in, you have to put your code in, you have to grab it off your email. Uh, there's a couple extra steps. Like I said, it does sometimes look like it froze. Don't get too worried about that if you're using LD Player. You'll see it'll start, it'll stop. Pretty much, once it loads and logs me in, the game is going to freeze. I'm not going to be able to play on it. But you'll see on your exporter that it'll say that it pulls your file. See, right there. Boom. Save profile data, the Kanish, pulled the file, everything works. I'm actually kind of curious to see if this is going to work this time to actually play the game. Because it's never actually worked. So, boom, nope, crashed. <laughs> frozen but it doesn't matter because we pulled the file here now all you have to do is find the file and input it right so I was gonna close this out this is worthless for me now goodbye see you later LD player thank you so much for doing what you were supposed to and you're gonna open up your summoners war optimizer you're gonna go back into your file you're gonna stop your proxy you don't need it anymore you can minimize that and you're gonna go back for me to my summoners war exporter files again and now boom now again, this looks like the same file that I had a minute ago. It's just going to update it. So you could just verify here that now I have the date and I have the time. So 9.04 p.m. There it is. That's exactly when I pulled it. And this will have all my newest information. So now what's left to do is just load it into Summoner's War Optimizer by going over here, import via JSON file, pick a file. You're going to find where it was saved in your computer again. Double click on it, it's going to load in here and import. And it'll show you right here total imported runes 1350, total imported monsters 126. So that's what I currently have in my account. And now all you have to need to do is go into the runes tab, go into your monsters, whatever you want to do, however you want to start setting up your teams, and get ready to use Optimizer and have fun. Enjoy. That is how simple it is. Start to finish, maybe about 
20, 30 minutes, depending on download, or if you have some freezes, or you have some issues with your emulator, really 90% of your issues will come within using the emulator. But again, emulator doesn't even have to load the game. All it has to do is log you in. If it freezes afterwards, it doesn't matter. As long as you see that beautiful file popping up on your Swex tool that says saved profile data, JSON. All right. Thank you, everybody, for watching. I appreciate your time. Have a great rest of your night, and good luck in the next season of RTA. Talk soon.